Excuse me, I am filming. Hush. Thank you. So rude. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with some of my favorite retellings. If you have been on this channel for a while, you know that like fairy tale retellings, retellings of like classics are some of my favorite things to read so I thought I would share five of my favorites with you today so without further ado, let us get started. So the first one that I have is The Wish Granter by CJ Redwine. This is part of her Ravenspire companion novel series. This is the second book and it is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling. It follows Thad and Ari, who are the bastard children of the king. Their mother and the royal family are all killed mysteriously, and that leaves Thad as the new king. Ari has never wanted to be royalty, but when Thad starts training her in order to take his place, she soon realizes that Alistair Teague, the wish granter, is responsible for Thad ending up as the new king. As time goes on, Ari learns of the terms between Thad and Alistair and decides that she is going to free him from his contract. So with the help of the new weapons master Sebastian, Ari must find a way to defeat Alistair in order to save Thad's soul and it's like that story. But the characters are definitely what shine for me in this book. Whether they are the main character or side characters, they are just all so well developed. We end up getting points of views from Ari, Sebastian, and some from Teague, Alistair, which was really interesting because he just had so much hate for humans and and it's understandable for what he went through, but you gotta read the book to figure that out. But I just love this retelling. I definitely recommend it. Out of all the Ravenspire novels that I've read so far, which is three out of the four, this one is definitely my favorite out of those three, but I do have plans to read Bloodspell very soon, which is a Cinderella retelling, so I'll let you guys know what I think of that one, but I definitely recommend picking up this one for sure. The next one that I have is Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Bradhorst. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I've done this take like 60 time so just I'm sorry but this is a Snow White and the Evil Queen retelling and it is a so stinking good. It follows Mina who has never really known what it feels like to love or have a beating heart. Her father is a very powerful magician who cut out her heart as a baby and had it remade out of glass. So when she is 16 she hatches a plan to move to White Spring Castle, capture the heart of the king, and become the new queen. In that process she becomes the new stepmother to the king's daughter Lynette. Since Lynette was a little girl she has always been strongly compared to her mother and that's when she discovers that the king actually had Mina's father construct her out of snow in order to resemble her mother but she has never really wanted to be like her mother. She wants to be more like her stepmother Mina. So when the king makes Lynette the queen of the south it displaces Mina from the throne and that causes her to despise Lynette. Lynette. So now Lynette has to decide what she's going to do in order to win Mina back or destroy her before she can destroy Lynette and it's like that story. I just think it was a really cool take on the Snow White Evil Queen relationship. I think it was really well done. This is another one where the characters are definitely the stars of the book. It's very character driven. There's a dual perspective in this and it also switches from the past and the present. I just think that the themes of friendship and family were really flushed out and I just think that this is a great retelling that everybody needs to read if you haven't already but it was pretty popular on booktube when it first came out so you probably have but if you haven't this is your sign. Next up is a 12 dancing princesses retelling. It is The House of Salt and Sorrows. This is by Erin A. Craig and I talk about this quite a bit on my channel just usually in like challenge videos or tag videos because I just love this book. It follows Annalie and her sisters who live a very sheltered life in Highmoor with her father and stepmother. There used to be 12 sisters but four have mistaken mysteriously died in unknown circumstances. The entire town believes that this family is cursed and Annalie is starting to think so as well. So as Annalie begins to investigate her sister's deaths with the help of a very mysterious stranger, her sisters are sneaking off in the middle of the night to dance at very extravagant balls. So Annalie has to decide whether or not she's going to join her sisters at the ball or continue investigating the deaths of the other sisters before the killer strikes again and it's 
that story. I think it is super atmospheric. It's like the perfect book to read on like a gloomy, stormy day. Annalie is also a very unreliable narrator and if you know me, you know I am a big fan of unreliable narrators so this was just a great read for me. It hit all my boxes so if you're looking for a 12 Dancing Princesses retelling, this one is one you should definitely check out. Next up I have Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angels and this is a Phantom of the Opera retelling. I know I've been saying that I love all of these books but this one I actually gave a 5 out of 5 stars. The other ones were all 4.5 so they were like missing a little sum sum but this one strong 5. So this follows a woman named Kalia who escapes a dancing show that she's been working at for years run by a man by Jax who claims to be protecting her. She wants nothing more than to be the star of her own show. So she enters a competition in the next town over called Glorian. The competition is in order to find the next headliner of the Conquering Circus. Talia ends up finding a new assistant named Aros and she works together with him to fight the prejudice that is already against her for being a woman magician. So as the competition grows riskier, her competitors end up going missing and people start pointing their fingers towards Kalia for the disappearances. Meanwhile, Kalia thinks that Jax is actually behind these disappearances, which she needs to hide from Darren DeMarco, who is a former magician as well as one of the judges of the show, and it's like the story of that. This is another one where the characters really shine, but this one also the atmosphere of Glorian and and the mystery behind the competition really drew me in right from the very first chapter. This one also has a heavy focus on like double standards of men and women. The friendship in this book between Kalia and Aros is also just such a highlight for me. I just adore Aros as a character in general. He was just my favorite little cinnamon roll and I want to protect him at all costs. And the second book is coming out very soon so I will definitely be checking that out. I am so so excited. And then the final retelling that I have is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Carvalho and this is a Sherlock Holmes Holmes retelling. This one follows Charlotte Holmes who is the great-great-granddaughter of Sherlock Holmes. She is attending university in Connecticut. While there she meets Jamie Watson who is a rugby player on a scholarship and they become instant rivals. That is until a person that they recently threatened ends up dead and they become the prime suspects. So they decide that they are going to work together in order to clear their name. This was actually a lot better than I initially thought it was going to be because I did not have the highest hopes for it, but I really liked how it was told through Jamie's point of view, so we got to see Charlotte through his eyes. I just think Charlotte is such a kick-ass female lead and I really loved her character. This book definitely dove into a lot deeper topics than I thought thought it was going to. It talks a lot about sexual assault and drug addiction and I think that the way that it was handled was really well done. I loved how Charlotte spent so much time of the book re-piecing herself and reclaiming herself. The banter in this is also really great. Charlotte and Jamie together are just a lot of fun so if you're looking for like a cute Sherlock Holmes retelling with a side of mystery then this one is for you. Alright everybody, so those were some of my favorite retellings. Let me know down below if you have any retellings that you think I should read because I am always looking for more and let me know if you've read any of these ones and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!